Oh God, seeing it, so tell me this isn't happening. What's going on, Attack Squad? It's your boy Romani Kid, Mr. Enemy 343, and today, as you should know, <clears throat> I've actually found out just this morning, or was it a couple days ago? I, I don't know. But I actually saw this like one particular thing posted by the Anime Man on my uh, alternate channel. Um, not on my alternate channel, but on my alternate Twitter page. About this uh, particular thing about a uh, manga series that I really enjoy called Kiss Sis. I mean, I still have the anime and I still need to sit down and watch that. <laughs> it's, it, it, let's just say it's actually a little messed up and uh, not for the faint of heart. But in all seriousness, let me actually just put it like this. It seems that after 15 years of publication, it seems that they're pulling the, that the uh, creators for Kiss Sis has officially decided to pull the plug. And I'm just kind of curious, like, is, is Keita ever going to actually get his B card swiped? It's just like, you know, it's like another good series that I really enjoy. It's uh, High School of the Dead, but sadly I'll never find out what's going to happen next because it turns out that Daisuke Sato, the uh, writer for the story, had actually passed away of a heart attack at the age of 50. And I know it's actually pretty sad, especially when, you know, got that anticlimactic ending with the uh, Berserk, you know, ever since Kentaro Miura passed away. But still, when a series actually just doesn't actually finish properly or have any form of closure whatsoever, like, another good example, uh, Attack on Titan. I mean, yeah, the ending for that one was just a little muddled, but at least it still ended nonetheless. And also, it was sad to actually see uh, that one shot um, of uh, Bleach coming out. That actually ended on a uh, bit of a cliffhanger. But in all seriousness, guys, I'm just going to say this just once. We really... This is why I really dread, you know, censorship. Because... If it's actually due to, like, you know, sensibilities of, like, you know, the Twitter Puritans and all that stuff. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. But it's all seriousness. If it's actually due to the Puritans and the outrage mob, why don't they actually just take a, take a page from uh, Okobo and just actually, you know, tell these Puritans off that, you know, this is made for the fans. That this was actually... This is actually made for, you know, our interests, not for uh, social justice warriors. Those people really do not care about anything except for their feelings, you know. And they freaking cry over the most minute things. And they, if they ever stub their toe, it feels like, you know, that they just lost a limb. <sighs> wow. I'm just reading into this too much. I, I, don't, I don't really know about anything. But in all seriousness, I mean, I ain't the only one that's actually... I ain't the only one that's actually suffering from this. There might be other fans out there as well. I know Corridon is actually pretty much, you know... She's actually having pretty much a hard time trying to get through this. And I actually got into a kiss this uh, right here at work. That's how I've actually known about this uh, particular anime. And I also have the uh, anime series. I still need to sit down and watch that. And But manga-wise, it's such a shame that it's actually going to end anticlimactically, let alone without any proper closure whatsoever. But all in all, guys, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Smash the like button if you enjoyed this. Subscribe if you're new. Hit that notification bell for future updates. And just remember these three things, guys. Respect the waifus, enjoy your fandoms, and any freedom. Until next time, this is Mr. Enemy343 saying, sign everyone.